What has this changed your view of the world and life? I know. Who wants to go first? It became so remarkably easy to draw boundaries and to, like, your world shifts on its axis. And, like, okay, maybe that sounds like a cliche, but, like, that's it. They're your world. Nothing else matters. Your little one and your family matters. And it just is so remarkably easy to then center your life around that. Um, and find the community, too, that, that helps support you. But um, even during the hard parts, you're like, this is it. This is it. I, I, I don't want to be anywhere else. Um, and if anyone is ever stressed about that or wondering what that's going to be like, it's, it's wonderful. It's, it's, it's truly it's the best experience in the world. It's like my favorite part of the day is my nighttime routine with her, so it's just so fun. It was really hard. Um, and so when we finally got our little miracle baby, it was just like, this is what was waiting for us. This is why we had to wait, you know? It's God's greatest gift. And I, I can't imagine our life without her. Like, what were we doing? I have Do you no remember? Idea. I mean, going out to dinner, <laughs> snowboarding, like, yes. yeah, doing that. But Sleepy. now it doesn't matter. Like, Saturday night, okay, let's hang out with her and, you know, give her a bath and do story time together and then watch crappy TV, you know? Like, it's changed everything in the best possible way. You know, we were a great team before, but now we're we're like championship level like we Ooh. we uh we have like a bigger goal now and that bigger goal is keeping him alive um and you know i think i think it's it's helped our communication a lot it's it's made us better people um and you know my my life is centered around him now like especially with being kind of you know solo dad at night during the during the weekdays um it's fun to have that time and get to see him grow up and you know you just want to try and turn him into the best possible human being that he possibly could be that's just the ultimate goal right i've always loved my job and now i cannot it's i i'm in a phase right now where i don't love it and i'm struggling with not loving it and what that means like how to how to balance it all i don't think i figured that out very well yet um but the great part is everyone here at work is wonderful and it's so fun to talk about all this with each other. And when I am home, um, I mean, just things that like little things that I never expected to be amazing. When he sees Kevin and myself, it's pure magic. He lights up the smile that he gets on his face. No one has ever smiled as happy as this smile. And he does it for both of us, and it's so, so sweet. I loved him, but um, it wasn't like that, like, oh my God, I'm a, I, I'm, I didn't have that like feeling that I thought I would. But for me, that's like really grown. And like, it's been, oh God. <laughs> it's, that's what for me has been the most amazing thing is that at first I was a little worried I didn't love him enough. But now, as he's grown, I've just, like, that love has grown in me. And I just didn't know that would happen. No, I mean, I couldn't agree more, Katie. I remember the first couple of months, and I think I was, like, super honest with you guys. I was like, jury's out. Like, this is hard. And, like, I'm not having fun, and I'm sleep-deprived, and I don't feel good about myself, and, like, I don't feel like I'm being a good mom. And, like, I just, like, wasn't here. There's a tissue on your head, sorry. Um, <laughs> You know, and I just was like, what did I do? Like, I just don't have a handle on anything, you know? And it was so overwhelming. But then I just, I don't know, like one day he woke up and he had this like little personality and he started saying mama and like, he looks at us like we're just his whole world and he's my whole world and, you know. <laughs> That's cool, good timing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I multitask, I can like, I'll get up early, I'll go run before work, or I, you know, things, things where I could juggle multiple things that has completely changed. Cause it's like, oh, I'm on baby duty from whatever time she'll wake up until 10 o'clock when, when one of our moms shows up. And then after that, it starts, you know, the work thing starts, but I'm trying to enjoy the mornings as best I can. And my favorite moment so far of like 
just not thinking about work at all, like not even having my phone to tempt me. We went to um, the library. Erin Aaron had a picture of her and Connor at the library for story time. And so I went to story time on a whim. Um, and I, all I could think of was just that experience, like everything we were experiencing, the books they were reading, the songs they were singing, the things we were playing with, and like nothing else mattered. I need more moments like that. I thought I loved him, and my capacity for love just blew up in the sky for her. I didn't even know it was possible to love something so much.